Right then, so a deck list for every VMAX in Evolving Skies in under five minutes. Okay, let's go. Right, so we've got a Duraludon VMAX deck list here. It's a really cool card with the ability that stops any damage done from Pokemon with special energy, and the attack is 3 for 220. We're going to play the Bronzong Engine just so we can abuse the new Crystal Cape to put a stage and let you heal damage uh, once per turn. Um, and lets you abuse Cheryl. And because we're playing the Aurora Energy to satisfy the fighting type cost, we can use stuff like Suicune to give us consistency and a water type attacker for, for, for Victini. Uh, Galarian Zapdos for Eternatus. Uh, Zamazenta to wall off any VMAX de decks if they get too aggressive. And then Zacian is also a pretty good attacker. I quite, like, I quite like the idea of this. Being able to abuse Cheryl is nice. And being able to go through all effects on that 220 of that like GMAX pulverization, I think it's called, is pretty cool indeed. Just a little bit inconsistent due to the Bronzong esque engine of it watch out for rapid uh rapid flow why didn't this go okay next up we got ourselves sp on v max um only really go to a shadow rider deck for the mirror match honestly it does six times each one of your opponent's energy in play so if they have like five energy you do what what's 300 damage so if they have six you oko in the mirror very good uh, Flareon on VMAX, this list is, I don't know how to build this list. It would be good if it didn't need to have two or three energy attached. So all we're going to do is try and use Skylar and Opal to search out the stuff we need. And Melotic is there to stop, um, Marnie. Uh, but yeah, it's, you know what I mean. Uh, on VMAX is very interesting. I feel as if pairing it with Umbri on VMAX is pretty cool. It does two for 120. Um, and then it poisons. It can have two tools attached. I've decided to go with Rugged, rugged Helmet, Galar Mine, and Crushing Hammer. So you can boss up something, lock it there, hammer off NJF elsewhere, um, and then keep it moving like this. I don't know how good it's going to be, though, not going to lie to you. Uh, Glacier on VMAX is pretty interesting as well. That crystal availability stops all damage from Vs and VMAXs, but it can get path to the peak. So we're playing it with Inteleon, so we can search out Dino Tree Hill. I don't know. Um, <laughs> just so we can search at any stage we want, so we can, uh, but, you know, not have path in play and wall off. Our attack is only three for one fifty with thirty. It's not the best. Gyarados V Max. I have no clue how to build this. For hey, I haven't played Frostmoth in a while. It's probably the way to go. But the best way to play this is probably the Binder. Uh, on V Max is a deck that I'm actually really, really excited for. It's a shame it's weak to fighting, but hundred to the active and hundred to the bench is pretty cool. With that elemental badge, you actually do that for one energy as well. Pat, you can you can abuse Pat to the Pete, you can abuse the Teleon, um, and you can abuse speed energy. And this is probably the best deck to abuse Cheryl, in my opinion. Leafy on VMAX is a pretty decent two shot, oh, I guess. I think there's a lot better way to do that. I don't really like it though. But, you know, with the Intel on, you can try and find your Snow Leaf badges, you can find your Galamon, you can find your Tool Scrappers. And it's pretty cool with the ability, meaning that if you don't find Leafy on, let's say you only have a Sobble in the active, you can attach Capture Energy to Sobble, bring out Leafy on, and use Leafy on's ability to attach a Grass down there. I just think there's, I just think there's a lot better way to two shot apart from that. Um, like and what VMAX, I was struggling here, let me tell you. But I've got a pretty cool engine here nonetheless. Uh, like one V Maxes, um, if any of your opponent's Pokemon have under 60 HP, you can auto carry them, and it does 3 foot 190 with a 30 snipe. I don't know how to accelerate fighting engine in a first rotation format until I remember that the non uh, the non uh, V Galarian Zapdos, which lets you attach fighting energies from the hand, so we can use that, bench it, attach them energies, energy switch them off onto Lycanroc, and use Umbreon to act as a boss in option. We play Crushing Hammer in this list to be an irritant. Uh, Rayquaza. V Max, here we go, baby. Uh, we play four of the stormy wins. I love this list to be honest with you. I love Zinja's resolve, she's a really cool supporter. Rose that she do turns you really have no right to be doing. And then you have to have stuff like rescue carry out and ordinary rod and power pad, just because if you keep using Azor Pulse, you will be uh, discarding a lot of cards from your deck. Uh, we got ourselves Sylveon V Max here. I think the only way you can play this is if it goes into a rapid strike Urshifu box deck and then you have Galarian Moltres to hit uh, Dark Weakness, Sylveon for Psychic Weakness, Urshifu to do Urshifu things in the post rotation format. Do I think it's worth it? Probably not, but I think it adds a lot of clunk to the deck. I don't think Urshifu needs it to be successful, but if you want to play Sylveon VMAX, this is the best way to do it. Trevenant VMAX, oh, I was struggling with this one. <laughs> it does more damage depending on how many supporters in your opponent's discard pile. So I thought if you get this Galarian Obstacle out there, make sure your opponent discard cards from hands until they're four in their hand. And then with Hammers and Spirit Mass, maybe you can build that up to something nice. Umbreon VMAX, okay. This could be the new face of single strike attacking decks. We're doing three for 160, two shot. Obviously, you can boss and orders everywhere around. We still play a one on one Urshu VMAX line, though. Tip for fighting weakness. And Vaporeon VMAX is our last one here today. 
Well, Wall Pond is actually really interesting. It lets you get one water type from the discard pile, put it on your bench, and attach three water energies. Now, I didn't say anything about it being basic. You can get stuff like Darmanitan and Blastoise. I couldn't think of a good target for it, though. So, this is just a normal attacking core with Elemental Badge. You can do the attack for two energy or a Rapid Strike energy. There's 100 plus 100 if there's any damage on their active. So, you can use Intelligence to get there. Woo! Look at that. Four minutes, 59. Six, five. That was close. Come on, you have to give me a like and subscribe for that. Oh yeah, Drake's ult V match. People are gonna say, well, that's not there. No, I ain't doing that to you fellas, don't worry. <laughs> you leave that in the binder. But if you're after more Evolving Skies content, make sure you keep it locked here because I will be pumping out a ton of Evolving Skies content for you, okay? Thanks for watching though, and I'll see you next time.